welcome back to my channel this is tony fergie boy do i have a video for y'all but let me take the time out to thank all my subscribers because of you we are doing it and i'm able to find more information to share with y'all because a lot of times we're busy throughout our days and you know we can't get to watch this or watch that and the news is full of a lot of lies so we got to do our own little homework and share the information now i want y'all to watch this video and tell me what you think La colonisation fait partie de l'histoire française. C'est un crime, c'est un crime contre l'humanité, c'est une vraie barbarie. Et ça fait partie de ce passé que nous devons regarder en face. La conquête, l'exploitation, la guerre, ce sont trois bonnes raisons pour présenter des excuses aux Algériens aujourd'hui. Parce que ce qu'a fait la France en Algérie pendant 130 ans est franchement scandaleux. France occupied Algeria from July 1830 up until July 1962 and committed brutal colonial crimes. In 1871, France passed the Indigenous Peoples Law. It confiscated the majority of arable land in the country and allowed European settlers to exploit the wealth of the nation, while expelling Algerians to mountainous and arid regions and restricting their movement. Europeans also took control of most of Algeria's trade, manufacturing and mining. Europeans got rich, while Algerians got poor. By 1953, more than 60% of Algerians were classified as destitute. The French also placed higher colonial taxes on Algerians than on Europeans and looted the country's treasures, including the Emirates Palace in Algiers. During the conquest beginning in 1830, France demolished major metropolitan mosques, burnt down villages and desecrated cemeteries. In the 19th century, Algerians relied on religious schools in order to learn to write. The French disrupted these schools by taking away their source of income, or Islamic endowments, and then refusing to allocate the schools any money. This led to high levels of illiteracy and Arabic was sidelined in school curriculums. In 1836, France opened the first Catholic missionary school in Algeria as part of a civilizing mission for a small number of children. The curriculum was entirely French. In the first three decades of French conquest in Algeria, 100,000 French settled in the country. During this time, it's estimated that 500,000 to a million Algerians out of a total population of 3 million died because of war, disease and famine. In 1945, after the Allied victory against Nazi Germany, pro-independence protests broke out. The French responded by launching a 15-day military campaign around Setif, a town in the eastern part of the country. They imposed military law and murdered men, women, children, and the elderly. 44 villages were destroyed. Algerian official figures say that 45,000 Algerians were massacred, while many French and Western historians say that between 15,000 to 20,000 people were killed. Nine years later, the war for independence began and one and a half million Algerians lost their lives. In 2018, France admitted that during the war, France passed laws which allowed forces to detain suspects and systematically torture them. The torture included waterboarding, electrical shocks, being buried alive, being thrown from helicopters, and sexual assault and rape. Many Algerian women were systematically raped and tortured.
Algeria is also getting rid of friends. Y'all, let me tell you something. I keep telling y'all the atmosphere is changing. I keep telling y'all. I don't know what's going on in uh, Senegal, why they don't wake up yet, but that's going to shift soon. Everything that's happening everywhere in Africa, oh, we just going to sit back and we going to watch. And somebody said the other day, I was watching um, one of my brothers that I watch, and someone came on and they said, listen, I'm going to tell you all, all these big old cruise ships, because remember, I think in the scriptures it says that the same way they took us out of Africa is the same way we're going to return in ships. All those big cruise ships that they making out there, who think that's for us to go back? I'm just saying. But there's something happening in the atmosphere in Africa. And I shouldn't even say Africa, in the Holy Land, in al -Kibulan. And we all need to prepare ourselves and just be ready because there's a shift, it's happening, there's no stopping it, there's no going back, there's no distraction, this is it y'all. Tell me what part of life or what part of your life have you ever experienced anything like this right now? I'm gonna wait. Never. Not never. Anyways y'all, leave your comment below. Tell me what y'all think. And welcome back again. And then have a nice day. And don't forget, Tony loves you.